The sign making techniques in this video were all demonstrated by Michael Bloomquist, master sign maker and owner of the Hayward School of Dimensional Sign Making. Primer. There are three different ways to apply primer, spray, brush, or roller. A roller or a brush are the preferred methods. Both the brush and roller will press the paint into the cell structure of the sign foam far better than with spray paint. For best results, consider using Sign Prime Primer. It's uniquely formulated to adhere to the cellular structure of sign foam without trapping air or compressing and cracking once it dries. Using an incompatible primer may also result in adhesion problems with sandblast stencils as well as with primer and paint. For a small sign like this one, a brush is usually the best method. The objective here is to initially flood the cell's surface with paint. Once completely covered, go back and paint with the brush in different directions, forcing the paint into the sign foam. This also evens out the paint. On your last pass, paint with smooth, complete strokes on the longest dimension. While time is a key step in sign production, allow the primer to dry overnight. Painting over still wet primer will only give you problems later on. After the primer is dried, with a 600 grit piece of sandpaper, quickly sand off the texture or the very top layer of the primer. You're now ready for the next step. Mm -hmm.